With the creation of the computer and internet and Google, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, iPhones, Androids, knowledge about anything and anyone is available instantaneously. Even some of our more experienced people here this morning, you're on Facebook, which boggles my mind. because I'm not even on Facebook, so I, I give you full credit that if you were born before 1950, that you're computer savvy. That, that's an excellent thing. Children born today will rarely see a phone with a cord. Children born today will never see a dial on a phone. Who remembers dial phones? You got those? I actually bought an old handset, headset, you know, handheld corded thing to plug into my iPhone. It's pretty cool. So. Hmm. You're really old. <laughs> Children born today will have no idea what a music CD is let alone a vinyl LP or the wonderful eight-track cassette. <laughs> Are we making you feel old this morning? Maybe a little bit? Just last week in the news, Belinda Carlisle was quoted as saying that she was the Lindsay Lohan of her generation. She partied with the best of them, lived most of her days in a drunken or drugged out state, but luckily for her, digital cameras and the paparazzi did not exist back when Belinda Car Carlisle was famous. Unlike Ms. Lohan, very few of Belinda's activities were recorded for the world to see. So Lindsay alone is very popular. She's a popular target for people. We're going to jump back 2,000 years, but we're going to take some of our technology with us. Jesus would never have received the parade of honor into Jerusalem because the authorities and the others that were against him would have been able to monitor and track his every movement. They would have never allowed a parade. When Jesus healed someone and said to them, don't say a word to anyone, that miracle would have been recorded by a couple dozen members of the paparazzi. This morning we need to reconsider our, our idea of being popular. The topic is giving up popularity. Most of the things that Christians believe to be true are not considered popular by the world. We believe that God loves us. Many in the world believe there is no active deity. Or if there was a God, he created things and he stepped back. He doesn't involve himself in anything that we do. We Christians believe Jesus is the Son of God. Outside the church, many people say that Jesus, if he was even a real person, was just a good teacher bit of a rebel who wanted to shake things up. We believe that Jesus says that he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. Non-Christians would say that there are many ways to get to heaven, if heaven actually exists. Two thousand years ago, Jesus rode into Jerusalem, and his followers and admirers broke into praise and honored him with a parade. Others watching got caught up in the moment, and they too found themselves waving palm branches, taking off their cloaks and throwing them in the streets, and cheering Jesus on. But unlike those people at that time, we know what happened later on in the week. Everyone turned on Jesus. Some of the same crowd that said Hosanna to Jesus later said crucify him. The same people that said blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord 
early on in the week screamed at the loudest voice they could possibly say that they wanted Barabbas released instead of Jesus. Jesus' own disciples fled and left him alone to face his accusers. Even Simon Peter, who was brave enough to stay close, but he himself denied Jesus three times. Peter, who spent three years with Jesus, saw Jesus transfigured, saw all the miracles. He told some people who questioned him that he did not know the man. So what about us this morning? We meet each Sunday for a time of corporate worship. We meet and we sing nice songs about Jesus, songs about giving praise to God and talking about the Holy Spirit. Even this morning, we have sung three songs praising God by using the same words and phrases they sang 2,000 years ago. Hosanna. So do we this morning want to be popular in God's eyes? Or do we want to be popular to the world around us? How are we different later on in the week? On a Sunday, Jesus was one of the most popular figures. And then on Friday, he was killed. My prayer this morning for all of us is that we keep our eyes focused on Jesus. Whatever it is we're doing in life, whatever we go through, we always remember Jesus is with us. My prayer is that we will focus on the God that loves us so much. The God that desires a relationship with us. A relationship so important that he sacrificed his own son for us. Jesus died for you and you and you and you and me. God wants to be popular. And using our earlier definition, God will be like the best, whether we want to acknowledge it now or later. But unlike William Hung, God is not going to settle for 15 minutes of fame. Shall we pray? Father God, I just ask that we turn to you now with, with sincere hearts. Help us to uh, look at ourselves truthfully this morning. Let your light shine on our lives so that we might see any, anything we're doing that we shouldn't be or anything, any time we've taken focus off you, Lord. Uh, forgive us if later on in the week we ever reject you or, or turn our eyes off you. But Lord, just be with us as we, uh, as we spend some time in prayer and singing. We're going to sing just as I am. That's how God loves us, just like we are. We don't have to do anything. Whatever's going on in our lives, God loves us. And he just wants us to come to him just as we are. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that
Just as I am and waiting not to rid my soul of one dark blot to Verse 3 says there may be a battle going on in your life. Maybe you have a doubt. Is this church stuff all real? Is God real? Does Jesus exist? I can only speak from a faith point of view, yes. But don't, uh, if you're being challenged this morning in anything, don't turn them away this morning.